Hello everyone, welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to your readings for September 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in. I want to give a big old shout out to all the Virgos out there. Very, very happy birthday to you. We are officially in Virgo season as far as Western astrology is concerned. And I want to give a shout out to the September Libras. Yes, very happy birthday to you guys as well. So please keep in mind that these are general readings. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you'd like to look into your own personal situation please go ahead and email me all the information is in the description box below yeah so for those of you that are new I want to give you a little bit of insight as to these readings on my channel these are not really specific to anything obviously we are doing this by sign but this is not love or career specific okay this is you could think of this as just the the messages that spirit has for you uh, having a conversation or a discussion with spirit about what is going on in your life at this time also keep in mind that just because these are dated for september of 2019 these readings are meant to be timeless yeah so whenever this resonates for you if it's in september if it's after september of 2019 please just take that message if it resonates for you at that time then that's the message for you at this time i i am speaking to the zodiac sign in question here but as a cross watcher you know this could be something that resonates for you as well if you are watching for someone uh, if you're cross watching for someone yeah I would love it if you guys would follow me if you're not already doing so on Instagram you can find me at divine underscore conversations you can also find me on Facebook at uh, facebook.com slash divine conversations 2711 if you would like to book a personal reading with me please just email me um, Instagram would be a good uh, other another option you know to to choose um, but Facebook is not a good option. Like I, I even mentioned this in my video last month. Um, I rarely check my Facebook messages. I don't always get them right away also. So if you're trying to get a reading with me, the best bet is to just find my email address in the description box below and email me there. I also have all of the readings that I offer and their prices and descriptions listed in the description box below. So if you would like a reading, please read through that and then email me. Again, Instagram is a good alternative, but that always isn't the most reliable, okay? The, your best bet, if you would like to get a personal reading with me, is to just email me, okay? With that said, I guess we're ready, so let's get to it. <laughs> hey there, Aries. Welcome to your reading for September 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in. So, uh, first things first, I just want to point out that they are doing construction across the street, okay? So you're most likely going to hear it at certain points in the video. I apologize if it's like, if it turns out to be super distracting, but I can't do anything about that, unfortunately. Um, I do live right on the street. A lot of the street noise comes directly into my room. But with that said, we are just going to keep it pushing here, y'all. We are not going to let that stop us, yes? Okay, also, I do want to point out that I have been um, experiencing some technical issues with the sound of my microphone lately during this whole week um, that I'm recording these Zodiac, the, the readings for the month of September. So if you hear that the sound is crackly a little bit, I apologize. There really isn't much that I can do about that once the video is recorded, and I don't have a way of monitoring the sound while I am recording. So... I apologize. I'm working on it. I'm trying to fix it. I might get a new mic. I might not. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But in the meantime, I'm just throwing that out there. I am aware of it. Thank you very much. Okay. Getting into your energies. The first, the, this, now I have your pre-shuffle here. The first card that came out is the Page of Cups. And the first thing I heard with that card, this represents new love coming in, whether this is for someone else or this is a new sense of love and understanding of yourself. Okay. It does seem that this is influenced by some sort of boredom, potentially, or some sort of um, some sort of uh, unrequited love situation. Now, whether that actually, uh, whether I'm getting this specifically, so I'm just gonna say it. Whether the, whether the situation was actually actually was unrequited or not. Um, is not important, is irrelevant, okay? It could, it, I, I'm feeling like for some of you, you were dealing with someone who told you that they didn't love you or told you that they weren't in, interested or didn't want to get involved with you, but that wasn't the truth, okay? Um, that was a lie. There was a secret that was being kept, but that's not important. 
What's important now is that this has helped you get to a deeper sense of self, okay? It, 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 so you went through, or maybe you're going through right now, a period of introspection associated with this situation. This could be a, lo a relationship with another person romantically, or it could be a job, a career, path, uh, family, whatever, it doesn't matter. We're talking about a situation here that was not reciprocal, unbalanced, but that pushed you into an energy of taking a, separating yourself from it and trying to figure out what it is love truly means for you. What is the type of love that you would actually like to experience rather than just allowing yourself to be pushed around willy-nilly by the universe seemingly or by other people around you, okay? And Aries is not a type to be pushed around, let me tell you. I do wanna say though, for the collective of Aries that I am channeling for right now, you, were, you did allow yourselves to be vulnerable when it comes to love and it may have left you battered and bruised but ultimately it led you to an awakening judgment okay it led you to a greater sense of independence nine of pentacles and now it is leading you on a new path a new journey the fool with the ace of wands as an overall energy new inspiration a new desire okay a deeper desire, potentially, of who you are, of what you want. There is inspiration here, passionate inspiration, that is moving you in a brand new direction from a place of autonomy. And uh, I'm hearing synchronicity, sure, because you are in greater alignment with yourself, thus you're in greater alignment with the universe, um, but also sovereignty. Okay. Now, with this Fool card, I am picking up that some of you are crossing into a brand new love situation. Okay. Uh, page of Cups, new love. But the unrequited love situation of the, of the past did help you define what it is you truly want in a relationship, what it is you truly want out of a partner, and thus now you're walking right into that, energetically speaking, okay? Which is so freaking beautiful, Aries. I freaking love it. All right, we're gonna give this a reset shuffle, and then we're gonna get into the rest of your energy and messages for the month of September. Yeah? Here we go, guys. <clears throat> Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the month of September 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Aries, I'm gonna give this five shuffles. As I do that, though, I, I do wanna describe or explain that I am seeing two colors for you. I'm seeing yellow and I'm seeing or, uh, orange. Yellow being your solar plexus, uh, that being your willpower, your drive, your masculine energy. Two. The orange being your sacral chakra or your emotional body, also your sense of inner femininity, okay? Three. Um, and what I'm getting is that these two energies are definitely working in tandem here. Now, the biggest reason why this is working and they are working in tandem is because from an emotional point of view, you have a deeper understanding of who you are and what it is you want out of life. With that understanding, you can now take better action in terms of what it is you what it is you wish to manifest okay the yellow or the masculine being that action taking energy especially when it comes to you know your willpower all right this is shuffle number four for my aries sun moon rising and venus for the month of september and five i'm sure you guys can hear the construction going on out there Oh wow, I just looked outside. I'm seeing two butterflies flying around together. Looks like they're going through, they're, they're doing a mating dance. Ooh wee. Okay, Aries, so for some of you, you really could be connecting with a soulmate, uh, a counterpart, um, and this absolutely would be someone who has gone through their own major transformation. Beautiful. All right, Aries. Boop, here we go overall energy for you we have the hanged man enlightenment absolutely okay 
Um, for some of you, you are coming out of this energy. For others of you, you are in this enlightenment process is what spirit is saying, okay? Um, ultimately though, this is all, is this? Why is the hanged, the hanged man is reversed. <laughs> that is so crazy. This is another deck in which the hanged man is, is reversed. And I'm not, I'm not, I don't have reversals. Like I specifically don't have cards reversed in this deck, but this for some reason keeps wanting to come out in reverse. And it's not just this deck, it's other decks too. Another, it's my vice versa deck that the, that the hanged man keeps coming out in reverse. This is a really good thing though. Because this means that enlightenment has been reached. So for most, and now it could also mean that there is a blockage towards this enlightenment, but that's not what I'm picking up here. The enlightenment, source is saying the enlightenment has been reached, okay? A level of understanding has been appropriated, okay? Underneath the hanged man, you've got the page of cups again. New love. But this is also a new energetic environment when it comes to love for you and that is love for yourself which then also translates into love for your external reality okay underneath the page of cups you've got the moon here and very interesting underneath the moon you've got the nine of pentacles yet again okay um What I'm getting between the Page of Cups and the Moon is that secrets have been revealed, understandings have come into view, have come into play. Some things that may have been played. Uh, um, please excuse me. I'm looking for some water. I don't have any water. Oh, there's some. Okay, well, I'll wait. For I don't have to have it right now. Um, there is an understanding of some things that have may have been plaguing you, have been setting you back. Um, that have been holding you back, some things that you may not have necessarily understood about you or self and, and love and how you, uh, how you um, relate to love. The moon also could represent Cancerian energy. The hanged man also represents Piscean energy, okay, also, as well as the page of cups. Some of you could have water in your chart or you may be connecting with another water sign. And then there's also Virgo here in the, in the Nine of Pentacles. But the strongest message that I'm getting here right now with the moon is that secrets have been revealed. Understandings have come into play. And it may be that your intuition is actually much stronger than it ever has been. But I feel like this is because you have greater faith in it in your intuitive abilities and also in the messages that may be coming through for you intuitively, all right? This is wonderful. Now the moon also does represent feminine energy. So it could be for some of you that you have definitely come into a place, especially with Aries being a very masculinely oriented energy. Some of you may have come into a, a, a deeper understanding of your own inner femininity, which is allowing you to, to adjust and to see things differently, to see things from a much clearer point of view. That is awesome, Aries. All right, getting into the rest of your reading here, first half, second half. You can look at this as the first half of your reading verse, I'm sorry, the first half and second half of your month. I recommend you look at it as the first half, second half of your reading because time is an illusion and energies are fluid and these messages are gonna be intertwining back and forth with each other all willy nilly. But you take it as it resonates for you, okay? First set of surrounding energies in the first half of your reading here, Aries, you have death, transformation. This is a very good thing. And this is a very strong transformation. Again, this is a transformation out of some things that may have been plaguing you for a long, long time. Okay, this is also Scorpio energy. You could be connecting with a Scorpio. Again, you could be connecting with another water sign because you have uh, two, ele two, two elements that are two cards that represent Pisces. You also have uh, the moon, which represents Cancer. Also, the moon in the Tarot traditionally does represent Pisces. So you have three cards of Piscean energy here. But also in astrology, the moon rules Cancer. But then you also have Scorpio in this death card, okay? Death is coupled with the Six of Pentacles. Beautiful, Aries. So what transformation you're going through, is, the, what, is, what this transformation is, is a transformation surrounding reciprocity, okay? Um, 
you're transforming out of and away from relationships that are not reciprocal. Like I said, so many of you dealt with some sort of unrequited love situation in the past. Now, it doesn't have to be just one. It could be a multitude of situations or relationships that you kept running into, but you kept running into them in order to learn the lesson. And now it looks like you have learned the lesson, but it is unrequited love type relationships or non-reciprocal relationships that you are transforming out of because it feels like you finally have a deeper understanding of what a truly balanced and relate reciprocal relationship is for you. And so now you can continue to manifest more of that now that you have that deeper understanding of what that is. Now, this doesn't just have to be romantic. This could be anything. This could be family. This could be friends. This could be career. This could be whatever. Okay. Second set of surrounding energies for you in the first half of your reading here, Aries, you have the Six of Cups. Getting back to who you truly are as your inner child. Um, facing some sort of nostalgia also. Uh, this also could be a soulmate connection that you are con connecting with, continuing to connect with. For some of you, that's what I just heard. Like the connection is going deeper in the month of September or whenever you are face reading, facing this reading hearing this reading, listening to this reading, okay? Six of Cups is coupled with the Five of Cups. Very interesting. What I'm getting with this, Aries, is that I really do find, I feel like you are finally letting go of toxic relationships, toxic situations with the Six of Cups, with, I'm sorry, with the Five of Cups, because now you have, and you do have those two cups that are left behind you there, right? So that obviously means that all is not lost. But also, it's these two cups of balance and, har balance and harmony. This could represent the balance between masculine and feminine within. This could be represent your own inner soulmate relationship with yourself that is leading you to some sort of nostalgia or I'm just getting happiness. But it's also with the Six of Cups, but it's also leading you to some sort of soulmate relationship. It's almost as if now that these cups, these three cups, Okay, of basically you can say the social atmosphere, potentially, right, for some of you. Now that these three cups of toxic energy have spilled over, you can get back to something or you can get to something that is a much more balanced and um, beneficial soulmate relationship, soulmate bond, okay? Now the six of the six of cups does represent the past and nostalgia. So some of you could still be dealing with a little bit of uh, residual mourning, having to do with something that you're leaving behind from the past. Okay, don't allow yourself to to wallow too much in this. Feel through your your emotions definitely, but don't don't allow yourself to really get stuck there. All right, your challenge in the first half of your reading here, Aries, you. The Ten of Cups. So your challenge, and this, and it, I, I, I almost don't, I almost say that I don't that this shouldn't really necessarily be a challenge, but the challenge here is just moving closer towards your Ten of Cups. The, the, the challenge here is being embodying, being your own Ten of Cups, which many of you have reached. Okay, I just saw five 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 on the counter. And I guess the challenge here is asking yourself, what does this look like and feel like to you? This 10 of cups, this ultimate emotional fulfillment. For some of you, this is a family, but then you still have to ask yourself, okay, but what does that family dynamic look like, feel like? Okay, 10 of cups is coupled with the star. Yes, Aquarian energy, but wish fulfillment. Your challenge here is to allow yourself to dream. And again, I don't, I really don't even want to say that this is a challenge. What you're being asked to, to do right now is dream. Aries, allow yourself to dream. Allow yourself to fantasize. Allow yourself to, to daydream and, 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 and allow yourself to just, you know, slip away into the fantasy of what your ultimate emotional fulfillment represents for you. 
I mean, that's really the best, that's really the only way to start the manifestation. If you can't see it and feel it in your mind and in your body, then you won't be able to manifest it in your physical reality, in your external reality, because it needs to come from the internal first. It, all manifestations start internally, okay? So allow yourself to dream. I mean, the Page of Cups is that dreamer energy also, okay? Your closing message or potential outcome in the first half of your reading here, Aries, you have justice. Excellent. Libra energy. Justice is being served. But this, is, this justice is being served by you taking the reins and allowing yourself to dream. I'm also hearing karmic justice is being served as well. However, that represents itself for you, however that resonates for you. But I do feel that for the most part, it is this karmic justice that is coming through here is a good thing and it feels good. It feels like it's good karma on your side, Aries, for the most part. Justice is coupled with the Ace of Wands again. Beautiful. And this feels like, and the justice here feels like having the clear and open space energetically to go after what it is you are truly desiring. To go after this inspiration, this, this, this creative inspiration that you have to manifest something new. And for some of you, this justice is the fact that you are allowing yourself to, 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 to pursue whatever this is for you regardless of what my, others may have to say about it. Beautiful, Aries. I mean, all, all, in all honesty, Aries really is not a sign that you would associate with conformity. So, yeah, that's really not <laughs> anything new. <laughs> Excellent. So getting into the second half of your reading here, Aries, first set of surrounding energies, you do have the Page of Pentacles. Excellent. A brand new start. A level up changing the game even for some of you and I do feel like with that whole thing of like changing the game that some people around you are probably going to be really super surprised or shocked as to what it is you are pursuing some of you are going to find that thrilling I totally get it others of you are going to run into some resistance from people around you, but they're just nay naysayers. Don't let, her, don't let them stop you. Do not let them get in your way. Again, this is nothing new for an Aries, but hey. Anyway, Page of Pentacles is coupled with, ah, yes, the Empress, Taurus energy. I mean, you're, you're starting on a new something, a new path, a, a new journey, a, a new representation. Your life is making a big shift, an upgrade even. And, excuse me, there is all kinds of abundance associated with this. This is absolutely some of you gaining a new start by integrating and healing your own inner feminine energy because the Empress does represent the inner feminine, or I'm sorry, the divine feminine or, you know, feminine energies, okay? So it's two, this message is twofold. One, you have the abundance to start your new journey, to start your new business is what I just heard for some of you. Two, this is influenced and catalyzed by healing and representing your own feminine energy. Because we, ha we all have both masculine and feminine energy, okay? Your, sec your second set of surrounding energies in the, first, in the second half of your reading here, Aries, you do have, excellent, the Ten of Swords. Putting the past behind you. The worst is over. I'm telling you, the worst is over. So if you are dealing with some sort of unrequited love situation from the past or just an unrequited situation, the feelings were not reciprocal, um, you were bored even, you, you, you lacked motivation or something like that, that's all behind you, okay? That has come to an end. And I do feel like you have learned your lesson there. Ten of Swords is coupled with the Seven of Cups. This might have been a really confusing situation. I feel, I really do feel like you guys are coming out of the confusion here, especially with this hanged man energy in reverse. You're absolutely coming out of confusion here. And I feel like what has been keeping you in whatever this cycle was for you for, for however long it was, it was a confusion surrounding not necessarily knowing how to, how to approach the situation, how to react, how to act in the situation, um, how to, uh, 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 
how to heal it and mainly you didn't know how to heal it because you didn't know really what the problem was it could have been it may be that you were it was hidden from you or maybe it was just that it could have been a number of things that could have been the issue right but I feel like you have absolutely done the work to weed through all that and now you have the clarity ace of wands you have the clarity to bring justice to your life balance and harmony to your life okay your challenge in the second half of your reading here aries the six of wands all right now i'm hearing don't get too arrogant aries all right you're allowed to take a victory lap but like don't get too smug don't be you know shoving your your newfound independence or your newfound understanding of yourself in your life uh in people's faces in all honesty you might want to keep it to yourself Unless you have some like close friends that you know you can, that you know you feel safe talking to about this, or you have some people that may have been helping you. Good God, that is loud. I'm sorry, I really apologize for that, guys. But we're gonna continue. You might have some people that you that you know uh, would that have been helping you through this, have been you know following you along in your journey that will help congratulate you. But just be careful because there could be. <laughs> wow. That's really loud. It could be that there are some people around you who are kind of like snakes in the grass, you know, that, that are just in it to get something out of you now that you've reached this new level or are pretending to be your friend and smiling in your faces when in, really, in reality, they're really just looking for the right opportunity to cut you down. So be careful of that, Aries, six of wands. But you have every right to feel very, very proud of yourself. Don't let that be your downfall, okay? Six of Wands is coupled with the Wheel of Fortune. There is definitely an energy of the universe cautioning you or someone to not be too smug, okay? Not get too full of yourself. Like, like yes, please, by all means, enjoy being at the top, but recognize that the cycle is going to continue and you're going to find yourself at the bottom again. Obviously, it's not necessarily going to be in the same way that it has been in the past, thankfully, because for the most part, we have learned our lesson here. But there are still plenty of lessons to learn. OK. But ultimately, this is still a good thing. There is this very specific message here for someone to temper their pride and their ego by remembering what it felt like to be at rock bottom. Because right now, you are at the top of this wheel of fortune, okay? Or you're about to reach it. Now that you are here, or once you get here, temper these, the, these, this, this victorious feeling with the, the, the remembrance that, look, I mean, what goes up must come down, <laughs> okay? But also understand that we're not trying to take your victory away from you. In no way are we trying to take your victory away from you. We just need you to maintain a sort of humbleness. All right. Closing message or potential outcome in the last second half of your reading here, Aries. Wow. Okay. Well, this is reversed too. I'm going to leave it that way. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. You might want to take a break. I'm hearing don't work so hard. I really do feel like this is a time for you to relax and enjoy, enjoy the new energetic level that you've reached, um, enjoy your victory because there will be a moment where you will get, be getting back into the work, all right? But for now, just relax for a minute. Eight of Pentacles is coupled with, ooh, the Five of Swords. Wow. Wow, okay, there really is, there really is a very strong warning going out to someone or some people. Just because you are doing your work and you are finding success, that does not make you any better than anyone else, especially 
no better than those that aren't, quote, doing their work. And keep in mind, Aries, that you don't really know if someone is or is not doing their work. Ooh, ooh, that is a very, very clear message. Honor your truth and integrity, but do not do it at the expense of another human being, ever, ever. Do not think that you can use your own personal victories to cut someone else down. Strong message, very, very clear, okay. All right, let's close out your reading here, Aries, with Oracle Guidance. All right, best message, please, Spirit, for my Arians, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of September. Oh, my goodness. You get back, you get back up there. Oh gosh, oh, all right, you know what? Sorry guys, hold on a second. This does this just does not wanna stay up. Okay, there we go. All right, closing message for my Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of September 2019. Closing message, please, Spirit. Closing message for my Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Woo, all right, closing message, please, spirit. There it is. Okay, card number 44, visions of life beyond death. What are they even doing out there? They're still in the demolition process across the street. So, um, what, so what happened is they tore down the, the, like the, the wood side of the building, but now there's like this brick side of the building that has like a garage in it and a stairwell or something like that, and they're slowly chipping away at that, but I don't even know what all this noise is. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry, you guys. But it is what it is. We just got to keep pushing. Just keep pushing. All right, here we go. Sacred vision is awakening within you. You are becoming blessed with the ability to truly see, to see what is real rather than what appears to be. This is true insight. What was once considered consequential may soon be found to hold little consequence after all. What was once dismissed as an irrit irritation or irrelevance may, see, may be seen to have great spiritual significance. As mundane as something once appeared, it could now be worthy of absolute attention. The gift of genuine vision takes you into the being of the universal creator. This is sacred terrain beyond logic, convention, and that which is limited in any way. The more open you are to receiving true vision, the more love you will feel and recognize within and around you. Something may appear to change form, to be shed, to be lost, or to die, but there is love within it always. This realization doesn't remove the pain of the loss. It does provide a way through which it can be healed and eventually transformed into peace. The vision of love, the truth of all that is, can move us more than anything else possibly can. If you have been wondering about your life path and whether you should take action on a project or you need inspiration to really move you out of a slump you have fallen into, then this oracle brings you a message of hope. You will receive your vision. You will be graced with a way out of the stagnancy. You will be able to see things differently you have, you, and more accurately. Any confusion or uncertainty you have felt is going to pass and you will be left with clear insight. The stories you have been feeling, feeding yourself, and telling yourself may end up looking different to how they appear now. This may surprise you, but the vision that is coming to you will be more truthful and therefore freeing. It will be worth the shock, surprise, or the moment of embarrassment when you realize you have been operating under a false assurance or deluding yourself about the truth of a situation. Those moments will pass and they are not meant to not then they are not something to be to feel bad about 
They signify that you are leaving behind a smaller view for a more expansive one. They are a sign that you have outgrown your old vision in order to live in a bigger one. This is good. There might be a moment when your ego feels a bit dented, but sure enough, that too will pass. This oracle comes with additional guidance for you. You are watched over by life and held in protection. Whatever has been bothering you will not be able to harm you. You will prevail. If you are concerned that someone is getting away with something or blocking your path and it seems there is nothing you can do about it, don't worry. The all-seeing eye of life perceives everything without exception. It is the universal mother with eyes not only in the back of her head, but in every living cell of, her, of itself. She misses nothing. And the truth of her vision will always be met with justice, mercy, mercy, and wisdom. This oracle is also asking you to shift your perspective and look at an issue of concern a little differently. If you don't know how to do this, simply add the following statement to the end, to simply speak the following statement. I call upon the universal eye to show me the most helpful way to see this situation of concern now. In shifting how you look at things, the energy in what is, in what is beheld changes. You can see this with people. When you shame and judge someone, they react differently to when, you are loved, when they are loved and encouraged. They may succeed nonetheless, but the journey to that success will be different. Looking at something through the eyes of love rather than fear can help us find our way more quickly easily and enjoyably. enjoyably. This oracle comes with the additional message that your ability to perceive is expanding into truth. Your ability to be inspired and to see the light in all things is unfolding. It must be nourished in your heart with loving acceptance because you are going to help others through your vision, your art, and how you choose to be in the world. The healing process below will help you accept and anchor this, de this developing gift. I don't, I don't normally go into the healing process for the general readings, so I'm not going to go there. But there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Again, I apologize for all the noise from across the street, but it is what it is. Yes? With that said, I hope you guys have a great month, and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month of October. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye!